Welcome to the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms, where we bring you all the exciting action of the Southern University football program. It's brought to you by Coca-Cola, Louisiana Lottery, Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport, Amerigroup Insurance, McLean Financial Group, Bella Baton Rouge Casino, Gordon McKernan Law Firm, and Jerry Lane Family of Automobile Dealerships. Welcome to the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Coach, this is our third year. Welcome back. Of course, we want to tell everybody how they can catch up with the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. And so we want everybody to come out to Shucks on the Levee. It's at the Bella Baton Rouge Casino in downtown Baton Rouge. A nice little sports bar. They got some good food. They're doing some half-price appetizer uh, specials with buckets of beer. So come out, have a beer or have a beverage and have some food and hang out and talk Southern football with Coach and I. Coach, of course, the people can catch us about five times a week. We're on Cox 4 Monday nights at 9, as you can see with the graphic there. Wednesday nights on Cox Sports Television, a couple of times a week on Pelican Sports Broadcasting. You can also catch us on the Jaguar Football Show Facebook and YouTube page. So there's no reason to miss us. Five times a week on air twice always on um, the World Wide Web. Uh, you can also catch us streaming on Pelican Sports TV so you can't miss the Jaguar football show. Tell all your friends also where to catch us. Coach, let's jump into it. 2015, before we start talking about set, uh, Louisiana Tech, we want to congratulate you. You were the SWAC 2014 runner-up. That is after being the SWAC champs in 2013. Coach, did you think you'd have a chance to come back and compete for the championship again right after you won it? Well, you know, I think when the year started, it was some doubt, but, you know, we have a program that's that's really built the right way, and, and you know, that's the most important thing is making sure you have a program that can that can be consistent, and we think we have that, and guys rode to the occasion, overcame some adversity, and we're very grateful for that opportunity. Coach, let's talk about spring. Football players everywhere in the world have spring practice. Spring is where football players get a chance to, you know, get their position for the fall, show the coaches what they, they have, you know, working with. Coach, you didn't have a spring. Is this the first time in your life in football that you didn't have a spring practice? Well, you know, I think we, we didn't have it, and, you know, we've been through it, and it is, you know, my first time that I didn't have spring ball. But, you know, we got a group of individuals that understand, you know, that's, that's part of the adversity we got to go through. We understand we're, we're overcoming some past uh, deficits in our APR, and, and we're doing the right things to try to get better at that. And it's all about play the next play. You know, we got a good group of guys coming back. You really miss seeing spring ball when you're talking about tackling and blocking and the fundamentals of football. And this first game is going to go really show whether we could handle playing without spring ball or moving forward. Well, Coach, let's talk about positivity. The recruiting trail, did we get the kids we needed on the recruiting trail last year? Well, I think we got a good recruiting class, and I think you'll have a chance to see some of them freshmen play. You know, the likes of um, some offensive linemen that's doing very well. Colin Lagarde is doing well. Jalen Brinson. You know, we have some uh, defensive backs that's doing well. Demario Houston is one of those young guys. We got some defensive linemen. Chris Jones uh, that's playing and doing a very good job. A couple of linebackers. Uh, Calvin Lunkins is a freshman, so we have freshmen all over the field on both sides of the ball, including special teams that are doing really a great job for us. Very good. Coach, before we wrap up this segment, we got some coaches that weren't here with us last year. We want to put up their pictures so you can see who your assistants are, the guys in the trenches. On offense, Coach, of course, we've got Chad Germany, Chennis Berry, the co-offensive coordinators, Chris Coleman, and Elvis Joseph are back. But you got some new guys also coming in, Coach. Well, exactly. We added uh, LaQuay Menigo to coach the tight ends, and he's doing a fantastic job. Also, he's our video coordinator. Okay. On the defensive side of the ball, we've got Lorik Atkinson back, Myron Jackson, Chris Scott, new guys, Steve Adams at safeties, huh? Well, yes, in including Chris Scott. Chris Scott's a local guy from Southern Lab that's coaching our DBs, and uh, Coach Adams comes over from Nichols, and He's coaching our safeties and heading up our special teams. Very good. All right, we're going to wrap up this segment. When we come back, we'll look and talk about players 
for the Jaguars in 2015. Stay with us on the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odom. What's the most important aspect of event hosting? Location. This is something that Bell knew from day one. That's why we're located in downtown Baton Rouge, across from the convention center, close to LSU, and right by the river. So with a friendly staff, award-winning cuisine, and a massive conference center of 10 rooms and 24,000 square feet capable of fitting more than 2,000 guests, what we offer is just as important as where we are. the fever with the Saints Fever Scratch-Up from the Lottery. Win up to $100,000. Enter the second chance drawing for a chance to win the Saints Tunnel Team Experience. Get in the action with the Saints Fever Scratch-Up from the Lottery. Catch it today. Traveling with kids is kind of a nightmare, but flying out of BTR makes it stress-free. Everyone there is so much friendlier than any other airport I've been to. You can't have a fantastic city without the community support of a great airport. I can actually get anywhere in the world from right here in town. BTR makes travel so easy that I feel at home right when my plane lands. It takes almost no time to get back to my family. So that feeling of, ah, uh, this is home for me happens at BTR. The key to your future starts here. Discover a university with top programs in nursing, engineering, business, and education. Receive one-on-one -on -one interaction with professors and an affordable world-class education. Enter with the will to succeed and lead with the tools to excel. Your future awaits you here at Southern University and a and College, your number one HBCU. Jaguar football show with Coach Dawson Odom. Coach, of course, this fall we'll be coming to everybody from Shucks on the Levee, located at the Bella Baton Rouge Casino. We want to invite you out each Monday about 7 o'clock. Come out, hang out, talk a little SU football with Coach and I. Coach, let's jump into it. Fall camp, were you able to get the work in and the schemes you wanted with your offense and your defense? Well, exactly. You know, I thought the guys picked up well. You know, coming off the summer workouts and in the fall camp, I thought we did a great job of coming into camp, uh, playing fast and executing at a high rate. And, you know, I think that's going to carry over into this first game. Coach, we got some pictures of some of the players without helmets on so people can see what they look like. Let's jump right into your, uh, your, your signal callers, the quarterbacks. Austin Howard, our freshman starter from last year, took us to the championship game. He's back as a number one guy. Deontay Shorts is running as the number two guy, but you also got a third guy, Jared Hayes, that's pretty good also. Well, exactly. I think the quarterback position is going to you know, be one of the positions that we can lean on regardless who's out there. You know, I look forward to these guys seeing action on Saturday. Austin is coming off a great year. We look for him to continue to improve, especially in the area of managing the game. At running back, Lenard Tillery, our thousand yard rusher from last year, he's back. Coach, we lost some heralded running backs from last year, a couple of D1 transfers. What happened to those guys? Well, Tyree Bracken chose not to play football again, and, you know, we wish him well. And, you know, we still have Tillery and Malcolm Crockett there, and, you know, we go lean on those guys. And we also have some guys coming in behind them. Lundreas Johnson is a guy in uh, West. West is doing a great job for us in the backfield, and we just look forward to those guys continue to improve. All right, at wide receiver, the deepest position on the team, in my opinion. Coach, you have a wealth of, of talent, and I think you got three guys that could possibly go pro. Coach, Willie Quinn could have been one of the players of the year last year, the guy who I think has a shot at the pro league. Mike Jones, 
His speed alone allows him an opportunity to play at the next level. Randall Menard, your super freshman from a year ago, got hurt. He's back. Nico Talbert couldn't play last year. I hear he's a great player. I've only seen him in practice, but game is a whole nother thing. Justin Morgan is a winner for you. He does all the grimy work. He gets all the, the, the underneath and uh, he'll stretch a defense and catch a long one. Then you got the, the, the big tight end, Bradley Coleman. Coach, you got receivers for days and I couldn't even name them all. You got more than these guys. Well, exactly. I think it's the deepest group on the team. and. You're right, it's a lot of talent and skill set at that position. You know, Mike Jones is fast, Morgan's fast, Willie Quinn is super special. And you got Randall Menard who's back, who people don't really know about. He's back from an injury. We got Bradley Coleman who's playing in that group, six foot five, that can work the middle of the field. So we're excited about that group and we're looking for some big things from those guys. Of course, offensive line has got to protect the quarterback so he can get the ball to those receivers. On the offensive line, um, We've got back this year, uh, Mosley, Lee, Redding. Coach, those guys are going to set the pace for the offense, huh? Well, those are three very good football players for us. And, you know, Reddy's the senior of that bunch. And we're just looking for those guys to continue to work together. The Nichols perform well for us. You know, that's their nickname. And they've done a great job. I think we averaged less than seven sacks a year over the past two years and we continue to look to continue that success. I think those guys will play well together. Let's jump into your defensive guys, coach. On defense, we've got uh, a, a hard hitter in Deontay McDuffie. I love the way this kid plays, but you also got uh, you know some other guys coming back. At the linebacker position, you got Daniel Brown, Carter Martin. Coach, who else we got at linebacker besides these three? Well, we got some other young guys that I think will be very do a very good job for us. Contavious Preston is another guy that you'll see with some action at that position. Also, Javon Allen is coming back, the, the long graduate student in that group. So, you know, we call him Pop, so he's going to be back, hopefully, to give us the leadership that we need and continue to improve at linebacker. How about in our secondary coach, uh, Danny Johnson? We talked about McDuffie, Jamar Mitchell. These guys have got to pick off some balls and also hit some people. Well, exactly. These three guys right here are starters for us, and we're looking for big years from them. Another guy that I think is going to play a major role in the success of the secondary is, is Kajana Curtis. So those guys, we're looking, at, we're looking for some big things from them, and hopefully they can continue to improve in that secondary. On the defensive line, Coach, we got uh, Big Phillips back, Christian Allen. Those guys had a great year last year. Who else they got around them? Well, you got Gabriel Eccles at nose guard. You know, you got some young freshmen. Chris Jones is stepping up. You know, you also got Aaron Tiller, you know, who's a pass rusher from the defensive end spot. So we're, de we're deep at that position. You know, I think we're going to travel into the first game by 16 defensive linemen. So that's more than we've had in the past years. Of course, we got our kicker and um, uh, extra point guy, Greg Pittman. Who else we got in the kicking game, Coach? Well, we got a freshman, uh, Taylor Mary is a guy that we'll see punting. Uh, but Greg's going to handle, uh, you know, most of the duties. And, you know, we're looking for special things from Greg. He's an exceptional kicker and just a great leader for us as our special teams captain. All right, we're running over time because we got a lot to talk about. When we come back, we'll look at the 2015 season and our opponents on the Jaguar football show with Coach Dawson Odoms. My Jags hit real hard, but not nearly as hard as a car or a big truck. When something like that happens, you need the right team on your side to tackle the big insurance company. If you've been hurt in a car wreck, my team of attorneys can hit back. Call me right now. If I ever get hit by a car or a big truck, you better believe I will get Gordon. I'm attorney Gordon McKernan. Let me hit the big insurance company back. Just call me. Get it done. Get Gordon. Get it done. Call 888-8888 or go to getgordon.com. I have two kids, and like any mom, I want them to be healthy. So I chose Amerigroup Louisiana for our Bayou Health Plan. We get all our Medicaid benefits and pharmacy and prescription drug coverage. But you know what I really like? I get rewards for taking my kids to their doctor visits. Choose Amerigroup Louisiana. Call 1-855-BAYOU-4-YOU today. That's 1-855-229-6848. 
To gain financial success, the first step is getting in the game with planning your retirement. With so much uncertainty in the financial world, it's crucial to have someone on your team that understands your financial goals and can navigate you to obtaining your dream to financial freedom. McLean Financial Group advises in many areas. We pride ourselves on strategic financial planning and serving our clients, a great combination to obtain financial freedom. Get in the game and let McLean Financial Group design your customized financial playbook and quarterback you to financial independence. <laughs> the side lives that Contour can record up to six shows at once. So we all get what we want, like sci-fi. Sci-fi. Sci Romantic comedies? Anyone? For the many sides of you, there's Contour. My sea creature side loves that Contour puts my personal favorites front and center. Ooh, I love this cooking show. Oh, is that Larry? No! For the many sides of you, there's Contour. I'm on my third Tahoe. And I'm on my fourth Chevy Silverado pickup. It's always been Chevy. Hey, you know I've had four Camaros, five Corvettes. Got them all from Jerry Lane. We're proud to be a Jerry Lane family. Always be too. Welcome back to the Jaguar Football Show with Coach Dawson Odoms. We come to you this 2015 season from Shucks on the Levee, located at the Bella Baton Rouge Casino. We want to invite everybody out. Monday nights, about 7 o'clock, every Monday until December 7th. Come out, hang out, talk a little SU football with Coach and I. Coach, let's jump into fall camp. Who are the Cox players of fall camp on special teams, offense, and defense? Well, special teams, I think we have two guys. Uh, David Carell and, um, of course, uh, Pittman were both did an outstanding job. And offensively, I thought Austin Howard had a great camp, and I thought Bradley Coleman did an outstanding job. Defensively, Martin Henry and Danny Johnson thought those guys had an outstanding fall camp. All right, Coach, let's jump through the season. Uh, we're going to talk about Tech next segment. Our first road game, our second road game, uh, Mississippi Valley at Itabita. What do the Delta Devils have this year, Coach? We well, hadn't really had a chance to watch them on film. You know, they got a new staff. Uh, they play their first game this week, just like a lot of teams. So we'll know more about them in the coming days. Jay State, we usually play them later in the year. Uh, what do the Tigers have this year, Coach? Well, they return one of the better quarterbacks in the country. You know, Ivy threw for a lot of yards, and, you know, they're going to spread you out and uh, look, probably try to improve in their running game. But they're really good at throwing the football. Game I'm excited about, Georgia Bulldogs. Coach, SEC team, uh, talk to us about this game, risk of in injury, injury. Well, you know, you're going into a hostile environment you know, where you could possibly have 90 plus thousand in the stadium. They got a Heisman Trophy candidate back there and at running back in Chubbs. He's one of the best in the country, you know, so they're a very good football team, preseason favorites in the SEC. So it'll be a tall order, you know, you got to try to stay healthy and, and still yet play as good as you can. And, and, and hopefully you don't come out there with no injuries. Alabama State in Montgomery, new coach Brian Jenkins, a lot of drama around him. What do the Hornets have this year, Coach? Well, they got some consistency at quarterback. I think Duhart's going to do a great job for them. They lost their leading rusher, you know, who past two years they had probably one of the top leading rushers in the conference. Uh, got a new defensive coordinator, new offensive coordinator, so they're probably still trying to gel together as a football team. PV comes in for homecoming coach quickly. What about PV? New coach, but they return uh, continuity of players. Uh, they have one of the better running backs that is from right here in Baton Rouge, so they'll be a tall order. Texas Southern, what does Coach Asbury have? Very good on defense. You know, Coach Heiss is taking over as defensive coordinator, so they'll play fast and upbeat, and they're changing over to more of a spread offense, and, you know, they have a new offensive coordinator. Alcorn State Braves, swag champs. Their big-time quarterback, John Gibbs, is back. What do they have? Well, they return a lot of players on offense. They lost a lot of players on defense, so they'll look to rebuild there. They always have a, a strong football team, and they, I see them being probably the favorites in the conference. 
UAP Golden Lions usually like to run the football. What will they have? Well, they got that old Washington Redskin over there. You know, they go run the football, like you said. You know, they're probably trying to get back to being a tough physical football team. They got to replace one of the better offensive players at quarterback, and they'll be good on defense. Our last home game, Alabama A&M. What do the Bulldogs have? Year two from James Spady, you can look for them to be very competitive. You know, they, they shot some people last year with how they play, running the pistol offense. So you can look for them to be a physical football team that can also spread you out. Bayou Classic and Gramlin. Hey, Gramlin's going to be tough. You know, they were preseason favorites on our sides. They return a lot of football players. They got a quarterback that's as good as anybody. And when you got that, you always got a chance. When we come back, we'll talk Louisiana Tech. Stay with us on the Jaguar football show with Coach Dawson Odoms. the fever with the Saints fever scratch up from the lottery win up to $100,000 enter the second chance drawing for a chance to win the Saints tunnel team experience get in the action with the Saints fever scratch up from the lottery catch it today traveling with kids is kind of a nightmare but flying out of BTR makes it stress-free everyone there is so much friendlier than any other airport I've been to you can't have a fantastic city without the community support of a great airport I can actually get anywhere in the world from right here in town BTR makes travel so easy that I feel at home right when my plane lands it takes almost no time to get back to my family so that feeling of ah, uh, this is home for me happens at BTR It's needed for any wedding. Friendly staff, gorgeous venues, entertainment, food, buffet-style dining, or an intimate sit-down dinner. Rehearsal dinner for 15 people or reception halls for 1,000. Gorgeous rooms, an expansive casino, or a close-knit lounge. On your special day, you deserve variety. And that's exactly what the Bell offers. to the Jaguar football show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Coach, we go to Ruston to play the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs for the first time. How did that game get on our schedule? Well, you know, it's an opportunity for the players to get a chance to play against a Division I uh, opportunity, a uh, great opponent. They went to the bowl game last year. So it gives us an opportunity to step our level up. It's in state, and you always look forward to playing against schools like that. Of course, a great game for Tech because they know the Jaguar Nation travels well. In the past, Tech liked to throw the ball around, score a lot of points. Do they still like to do that, Coach? Well, yeah, they got a, a quarterback that transferred in from Florida that's a better runner than probably the quarterback they had a year ago. They returned the top Russian school history in Dixon, who's probably as good as anybody in the country. So they're very explosive on offense. Coach, interesting enough, schools like USL, Louisiana Tech, UL Monroe, I see them as classmates and former competitors to current Jaguars. A lot of the same kids that they played with, grew up with. So there's no mystique in these kids. They're not like superstars. We're going to play guys that they played against. We should go in there and compete, correct? Well, I think you got to execute at a high level and give yourself an opportunity. The good thing is, is that they've done some things from a facility standpoint to, to recruit that high level athlete. You know, they're getting some of those guys that may well have gone to LSU or some of the other bigger schools that are now try, trying to uh, change their mind and come to La Tech. So they're recruiting outside of their level, but I still think if you're going with the right frame of mind, you'll give yourself an opportunity. All right. That wraps up this segment. When we come back, we'll wrap up the first show of the 2015 season for the Jaguar football show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Stay with us.
my Jags hit real hard, but not nearly as hard as a car or a big truck. When something like that happens, you need the right team on your side to tackle the big insurance company. If you've been hurt in a car wreck, my team of attorneys can hit back. Call me right now. If I ever get hit by a car or a big truck, you better believe I will get Gordon. I'm attorney Gordon McKernan. Let me hit the big insurance company back. Just call me. Get it done. Get Gordon. Get it done. Call 888-8888 or go to getgordon.com. I have two kids. And like any mom, I want them to be healthy. So I chose Amerigroup Louisiana for our Bayou Health Plan. We get all our Medicaid benefits and pharmacy and prescription drug coverage. But you know what I really like? I get rewards for taking my kids to their doctor visits. Choose Amerigroup Louisiana. Call 1-855-BAYU-4-U today. That's 1-855-229-6848. To gain financial success, the first step is getting in the game with planning your retirement. With so much uncertainty in the financial world, it's crucial to have someone on your team that understands your financial goals and can navigate you to obtaining your dream to financial freedom. McLean Financial Group advises in many areas. We pride ourselves on strategic financial planning and serving our clients, a great combination to obtain financial freedom. Get in the game and let McLean Financial Group design your customized financial playbook and quarterback you to financial independence. My mutant side lives at Contour can record up to six shows at once. So we all get what we want, like sci-fi. Sci-fi. Sci sci Romantic comedies? Anyone? For the many sides of you, there's Contour. My sea creature side loves that Contour puts my personal favorites front and center. Ooh, I love this cooking show. Oh, is that Larry? No! For the many sides of you, there's Contour. You can count on Jerry Lane. At Jerry Lane, they rolled the red carpet out for me. It's always been Jerry. Jerry Lane. You know what? It's tradition. It's family. And that's what keeps us coming back to Jerry Lane. Get the line, get the line. Get the line, get the line. Get the line, get the line. We're a Jerry Lane family. Always be too. Jaguar football show with Coach Dawson Odoms. Quickly, we about to close this segment. We want to run some video so you can see some plays from the uh, scrimmage at the last fall camp. Coach, I saw a lot of good work. I saw the offense do a lot of good things. I feel like we'll probably score 28 points a game. Defense, I felt like they were flying around. What's the biggest thing that you think we got to work on to have a successful season? Well, execution. You know, you can't have those lulls in the game where you know, you're moving the football, then you get stagnant or you bogged down. You know, I think we got to be consistent when we're moving the football. First downs equal touchdowns. Defensively, we got to get takeaways. The more takeaways you get, the more opportunities you get to your offense to score. Well, there you have it from the coach. Of course, we'd love to see you up in Ruston to support the Jaguars. Coach, we're going to put up that graphic where everybody can catch the show. Monday nights, 9, Saturday at 5 on 104. Uh, 1004 Wednesdays at 530 on Cox Sports Television Tuesdays at 9 Thursdays at 630 on, on Pelican Sports coach as we always do when we wrap up each and every show we tell the audience to go Jags, Jags.